Now, I know what you're thinking. Zach, who gave you the authority to talk about Ariana Grande on your show? You see this? You see this? This is Ariana's first three albums, so don't at me. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd, the B-Sides editions. I'm your host, Zach Steiner. On the B-Sides, we cover the new and trending things in the same format as your everyday nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. Well, this one's just going to mainly be unsponsored because it'll be a little bit longer than the traditional B-Side has been. But I'm trying to get into music reviews because music is one of those things that I really love. And uh, I think it'll be kind of dope. So we'll see how this turns out. Anyways, Ariana Grande, the biggest pop singer on the planet right now, apparently just dropped her newest album at midnight. And I've listened to it already a few times. And I wanted to talk about it because this is my show. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I want it. I got it. Now, before we get into the album reviews, I should probably establish a couple of things. Number one, yes, I do like Ariana Grande's music. Number two, no, I'm not gay. Number three, no, I'm definitely not gay. Now, I remember Ariana Grande on Victorious back in the day of Nickelodeon. I found out around the beginning of 2014 that she released her debut album not that long before that. I listened to it. I really liked her voice and how she had this wide vocal range. From that point onward, she's one of about 10 to 20 artists that I constantly am listening to whenever they put out something new. Anyways, her newest album, Thank You Next, just dropped, and I've been looking forward to this for a few months now, ever since her single by the same name dropped in November. This entire album was written almost immediately after her last album dropped in August. And to see an artist, especially someone as big as Ariana is, with this amount of music and to release it in such a short time frame, it was a pretty cool experience. For those of you that don't know, Thank You Next is basically this journey of self-awareness that Ariana Grande has taken over the past few months. This was written in tandem and directly after she broke off an engagement. Along with the passing of rapper and her ex, Mac Miller, she had just released her last album, Sweetener, which is much more of an album of love songs and, I mean, sweetness. The entire album is like candy compared to this darker, somewhat depressing album. Sweetener is this dream that she had built in her head while Thank You Next is reality. And to see these albums come out so close together, it's pretty dope. I think my favorite song on the album is the same song that I've been listening to a lot over the past couple of months, and that's Imagine, which also happens to be one of the singles that she put out and the first track in the album. It's a great opening as well because it clearly defines a love between two people that's beautiful yet unattainable. It's a feel good song with some emotional weight behind it. And I really like the vocals towards the end where she starts to use her higher register more. It's a track similar to Breathing, which was one of my favorites off of Sweetener. And I'd love to hear more of these meaningful songs without too many gimmicks from Ariana in the future. One of the things that I thought was interesting is the fact that the entirety of Thank You Next sounds like the journey of someone's mental state going all over the place, but eventually kind of coming terms to self-awareness and self-love, along with a couple of other important messages. I mean, that makes so much sense considering the mind state she had to have been in when writing this album. For instance, the dichotomy between the second and third tracks on the album, Needy and NASA. NASA is about how she needs space and relationship. And there's some really cool metaphors between outer space and NASA compared to the space between two people. She essentially ends a relationship with this song because if a girl tells you she needs space, it, it means that she's done. Like, there's no doubting about that. But what's funny here is that Needy comes right before that and it's essentially the prequel to NASA. Here in Needy, she's talking about how needy she is and that she'll wait for your texts and all of that. But from what I've experienced, when a girl gets to the point of this amount of neediness that's presented in this song, it's right before she's about to tell you, yo, I need space. 
Needy is also part of this self-awareness theme. She realizes that she can be extremely needy, but she also likes to be very passionate about things. By the way, I like both of these tracks a good bit. Needy is more of a ballad with an orchestral instrumental that just kind of gets in and gets out, while NASA has more of a punchy feel to it. It's definitely more of a banger. I wasn't the biggest fan of the chorus at first, but I think it's starting to grow on me the more I listen to it. Next up is Bloodline, a simple pop song with not really much going for it. It's about friends with benefits. This one felt much more like filler and honestly, I mean, it, it does work within the album, but I don't care for it as much as I like the other songs. However, I really like the message in Fake Smile. A lot of people, including myself, can tend to put on a fake facade in public regardless of how we're feeling inside, but considering she's a celebrity, I'm sure it can get extremely tiring to do this all the time. Around this time in the album, it's clear that Thank You Next is much more of a hip hop inspired album rather than a traditional pop album, which I do enjoy. Also surprisingly, there's no features on this album, which is pretty cool. Bad idea, it has a dope beat. It's definitely more simplistic in its theme and instrumental. It also ends with an entire minute of instrumentals that's nice to vibe with. Then there's makeup, which is about this girl's sadistic nature of wanting to start an argument with her boyfriend just so that she can make up with him. It was at this point in the album that I realized, damn, girls are way crazier than I thought they were. Either way, it's one of the more upbeat tracks of the album. Not one of my favorites, but I still like it. Ghostin is one of my favorites though. I love the atmosphere that surrounds this track. It goes in and out with these chords that I think have some micro tonality in them, if I'm not mistaken. The theme is about someone loving someone else, even though they're in a relationship, but rather than being some kind of love triangle thing, it's more of a, I feel bad about this person that I'm with because I love this other person. It's kind of hard to explain, but it actually ends up being about Mac Miller and his death and Ariana thinking about her while she's with, I'm assuming her, her most recent ex. It's sad, but it's also heartfelt. And I really, really love the vocals in this track, especially towards the end. In My Head also has a strong theme about how you shouldn't stay with someone just because of the picture you put of them in your head. Again, this entire album is about bringing you out of the dream that was Sweetener and bringing you back to reality. It's a good track, not one that I listen to immediately on my own, but it works really well within the landscape of the album. And now we come up to Seven Rings and Thank You Next, two of the biggest Ariana Grande singles of all time. I like both of these enough. Thank You Next definitely has the better message of the two about learning things from your past relationships and using them to love yourself before you go out and try to find somebody else. Meanwhile, Seven Rings is about having a lot of money and uh, that money can buy you happiness. <laughs> and like, tons of rappers do this exact same <laughs> where they brag about what they got. So like, good for her. And, and I can't even say that I don't think money brings some kind of happiness because when I get paid and can afford food and rent, I get a little bit less depressed. Anyways, Seven Rings is definitely much more of a hip hop track. It's, you know what? I'm gonna say it. Seven Rings is a banger while Thank You Next is a bop. Yes, there's a difference between the two. Look it up. It made perfect sense why these two were singles before the album came out. But then the album ends on the weirdest track, which is more of a Japanese light novel title, honestly, with a name like Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Like, I'm expecting this to be an anime next season. It's about someone who wants you to break up with your girlfriend because she's bored. It's pretty self-explainable. I don't quite understand why this is the last track, but it is also a bop. It reminds me of that Selena Gomez song, Can't Keep My Hands to Myself, both in sound and meaning, but it just felt really weird to have that as the ending track. Overall, Thank You Next. Is it my favorite Ariana Grande album? I don't think so, but it's still too early to tell. I really like the vibe of this entire album. I like that every single track has a purpose, and there's definitely this overarching theme to it. 
Unlike Sweetener, which I might talk about in a future video, I felt like some of the tracks in there didn't need to be in the album and it kind of weighed it down. But Thank You Next is very coherent and I'm honestly surprised that it only took like a couple of months for this to be put out from sheer concept to release date. But that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead hit that like button. For whatever reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know what you think about Thank You Next in the comment section below. Also, I'm thinking about doing more music reviews because I do have a much deeper relationship with music than anything else that I've talked about so far. Not that I don't love everything else that I've talked about before. So let me know if that's something you would like to see in the comment section below. Go subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.